Hey YouTube, we are back to uh, show you the disassembly and repair of this Nexus 5. See that we definitely have a screen shatter here. It's uh, kind of fractured all the way through. What we're going to do is uh, basically remove this screen, use some new glass in a loca process, and put a new bezel in it as well. So we're going to have to take everything out of this phone. It's going to be a complete disassembly. So the tools we're going to use is a plastic spudger tool a Phillips screwdriver, possibly a metal spudger if need be, and a dental pick is one of my favorite phone disassembly tools. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and eject our SIM slots. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the back cover. Now as you remove this, this does have a rubberized uh, feel to it, so you want to be careful when you're uh, removing this. We're just going to use uh, this metal spudger and be very careful when we do it. I'm just going to insert it in the corner right here and slide it across. You will hear, hear this unclip as you go. Uh, if you run into a sticky spot um, as you're unclipping it, uh, just take your tool and press into the device uh, where it's kind of sticking. You'll feel it unclick. You start to separate here. Now what you don't want to do is put the spudger underneath and completely push or kind of pull up. Uh, you can break these clips very easy and the battery covers are, are not always uh, the most inexpensive. That takes a, a little bit of finesse to get them uh, working again if you buy just a cover without the NFC and all the things that are on the back side of it as well. So just be careful as you remove the battery cover, take your time, and go nice and slow. Since it is rubberized, it is pretty easy to scratch and ding the battery cover. So you can see that it's being a little bit tricky right here on the side, so we're just going to kind of uh, separate it with my fingers to a degree, and then we will uh, try to gain a little bit more separation here. Now the bottom of the device, there is some double-sided tape that holds it down. Uh, so you start at the top of the device where the camera's at and work your way down to the bottom. Uh, once that's in, you can kind of stick your pry tool in and, and pull apart just a little bit. You can see that right down here at the bottom, this is where the double-sided tape is at that uh, holds this together. Now that we've freed the back of the phone, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is just peel this double-sided tape off. Uh, we can put some new 3M adhesive on, or to be honest with you, I really don't feel like you need this tape on there. Uh, this phone's pretty solid when it's clicked together, so it's not necessary, ne not necessary to have uh, totally when you're uh, putting the device back together. So you can just use some 3M double-sided tape if you want to, or you can leave this uh, rubberized adhesive is. On, I'm just going to remove it because it, whenever I set it aside and when I'm repairing your phone, it gets dust and crap on it, and uh, I'd rather it look nice and clean. Alright, we're going to go ahead and undo the three bottom screws here that hold the um, charging port cover on. One more screw to go. We'll undo all the screws across the top. There should be six here as well. I believe there's four on the bottom. I apologize. I just missed that uh, second charging port screw. And three across the top. And here is our last one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just unclip these uh, off of here. This is the bottom port. You can just kind of stick your pry tool in and pull up. It'll come right off. Same with the top portion as well. Just kind of stick your pry tool underneath and pry around. You'll see that there's a couple little connection points um, on it to kind of clip it in. Once you start making a little bit of leverage on it, you can see where it's actually sticking down and then put your pry tool in that area to go ahead and lift it off. There's a little clip just right in here. There we go. Go ahead and set that aside. 
See all the components within the back of the phone? The first thing we're going to go ahead and remove are these little wire antenna cables. I'm just going to go ahead and pull those off. Pull them out of their little uh, holders. Now I'm not going to completely remove them. We're not replacing them, so we'll just leave them attached to the bottom portion of the device. We can go ahead and detach the connector here. We have a connector down here at the bottom for the LCD. We'll go ahead and just disconnect and move back. Now there is some adhesive that holds this bottom charging port logic board down. So we're just going to insert our pry tool underneath and start to pull up. Be nice and gentle as you do this. You can use a flat spudger um, or that plastic uh, spudger as well. The, you see a lot of those plastic opening tools. Now the charging port uh, kind of sits in so you have to pull it back away from the opening for the charging port to help release the board. We have a little bit of adhesive on this side of the board here as well. These little connectors that, uh, in, that connect this uh, two sides together is pretty flexible, so don't be too concerned about uh, damaging it or ripping it. So we're just putting our pry tool in underneath and just pulling back gently. Now we're not trying to lift it off. What I'm trying to do is separate the adhesive. So as I start to make a little bit more progress, I'll slide the tool in a little bit further. We'll go ahead and set that aside. We're going to use our spudge. We're going to go ahead and pull up on the battery. We're going to be nice and gentle. It is, does have adhesive underneath it, so we're going to gain a little bit of separation just around the corners and the sides and start to kind of wiggle it back and forth. The battery will deform to a degree as it's uh, with the MI. We see a lot of cell phones that uh, flexible type battery. So we're going to put our spudger in underneath, put it in nice and deep, and then we're just going to pry upwards getting a lot of leverage on the battery itself. Pops right out. All right, we're making really good progress. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and remove all of the clips that are holding the phone in, so the front-facing camera. You can see that we're starting to pry up on the logic board just a little bit here around the side just to see if it's going to be loose. There is some adhesive underneath this logic board that holds it to the mid frame of the phone. So you don't want to just pry up really, really hard and try to get it to, to release. Just going to move our way around the side of the board just to make sure that we have lots of separation. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the camera. We can't remove the camera uh, just yet. You have to remove the logic board first. There's a little bit of um, a, a connection board underneath it. So we're putting our spudger tool in just right underneath. There's an opening just right here. If you have a thin tool, you can push it underneath, and that'll help separate the adhesive from the uh, mid frame of the phone. I've got our logic board out. Now there are a few additional things that we want to remove from this phone. We're going to do a frame exchange here. So we want to take the camera out. going to pry from the sides. It's got a little bit of adhesive underneath the camera and the board. So we're going to try to separate the adhesive first and then we'll go ahead and pull it out. We'll use our dental pick to get underneath the little control board of the camera. Being nice and careful as we slide it underneath. Go ahead and set that aside. We have our front facing camera, we'll go ahead and pull up. There's a little bit of adhesive underneath it, so underneath this little pad. We'll go ahead and remove our 3.5mm jack here real quick and then we'll go ahead and work with the adhesive here again on the front facing camera. We're just going to pull it up and then pull it towards the little foam connector here. We're going to go ahead and pull the little foam piece off. Now I want to keep everything intact as much as possible, but being careful not to rip this piece. 
pulling it off nice and slow. And that'll show you there's a little bit of that metal fabric tape holding the front facing camera in. We'll go ahead and pull that back and remove the front facing camera. We do have our headphone jack piece here. Go ahead and pull it out. It's a little bit of adhesive that holds that in as well. Now there is also another portion um, that holds that piece in, so you want to take that out. I don't show it until the reassembly of this phone, as I didn't realize it wasn't part of the new mid-frame that I have. I'm going to pull this little tiny plastic insert here as well. This is going to start comparing our two mid-frames to see what else needs to be removed, if anything, on this phone. There's a little foam front piece here we're going to go ahead and remove. Just get underneath it as much as possible and just peel it back without actually ripping it. Being nice and gentle as we pull it out. We're just going to go ahead and insert this into the new frame already. As it's a pretty small piece and don't want to miss it. When I'm reinstalling the pieces back into the phone. I'm just going to reinspect the mid frame here and see if there's anything else that we've missed. It looks like the internal portion of the frame is fine. We're going to go ahead and push out the buttons. So pushing out the power button. And we're going to want to remove the volume rocker as well. Now it does have a little bit of a connection piece that you can pull up. That's right in the middle here. Pulling that up will help you push the volume button through. Just going to look at the phone and see if there's anything else that we have missed that needs to be removed from this. It looks good. We are going to go ahead and pry up the adhesive underneath the LCD here. Uh, this ribbon cable is, goes to the digitizer, the backlight, and the LCD of the phone. So we're just going to try to get some separation underneath it and get started to... Uh, let us remove the LCD from the phone. It can be a little bit tricky, so take your time. It does have adhesive that holds it down. Uh, so starting from maybe one of the sides or underneath the uh, connector portion of the phone and pulling it back. Now, if you are using a dental pick, you want to make sure that you are very careful with any pointy device at this point as you are pulling this up. Just take your time and don't put a lot of pressure. I just use the point of this to help uh, gain leverage. And then I use the flatter portion of the tool to pull upwards. So we're separating the ribbon cable. I'm just going to get underneath it and gain a little bit of leverage on it. We'll use a flatter pry tool here. Slide it in and then pull forwards just like a lever. So we're on the side of it. And just start to pull it back. Now, so it seems like there's a lot of adhesive on the right side of it, so be somewhat careful as you're uh, removing it. Now that basically does it for the teardown of the Nexus 5. If you want to watch the screen removal and all the way through the uh, replacement and reassembly, 
Uh, they'll be linked at the bottom of to the right of every video. So go ahead and click on it if you want to see the next video in this series. If you found it helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. I appreciate you guys watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.